Hey everyone! Welcome back to Financial Futures. Today, I have some potential good news for low income households and fixed income beneficiaries, including Social Security recipients, SSDI, survivors, spousal benefits, SSI, VA, and railroad retirement, RRB. Lawmakers are currently discussing some big financial relief that could mean billions of dollars coming your way. Sounds good, right? After years of rising prices and minimal action, it looks like they might finally be stepping up. Let's dive into the details. Before we get started, could I ask a huge favor from you? Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that big subscribe button down below. Your support helps keep this channel going, and I appreciate every one of you. Alright, now let's get into it. So, what's going on in Washington? Right now, lawmakers are working on the 2025 federal budget, a massive piece of legislation worth over a trillion dollars. Along with the usual spending, they're considering adding some smaller, but impactful, provisions to support low income and fixed income households. And we're talking about billions of dollars that could directly benefit you. Sounds promising, right? The best part? Both parties, Republicans and Democrats, are talking about it. That means this might actually have a chance of passing, unlike some other bills that get stuck in the process. So, what's on the table? One of the big things they're discussing is bringing back the Affordable Connectivity Program, ACP. If you're not familiar, this program provided monthly discounts on internet bills. It originally started as the emergency broadband benefit during the pandemic, offering $50 a month to help with internet costs. Then, it was updated to the ACP and lowered to $30 a month for low-income households and fixed-income beneficiaries. Sound familiar? Well, the funding for that program ran out earlier this year, leaving about 23 million households, many of which are seniors, disabled individuals, and other fixed-income recipients, scrambling to cover their internet bills. But now, lawmakers are looking to bring the ACP back permanently. They're working to secure the necessary funding, and the good news is it wouldn't take much to keep it going, just a few billion dollars each year. This could be a huge help for low-income households who rely on affordable internet access for everything from paying bills to staying connected with family. Now, here's the catch. They're talking about making some changes to the eligibility criteria. The current program allowed households earning up to 200% of the federal poverty line to qualify. But now, they're considering lowering that threshold to between 130% and 150% of the poverty line. So, if you're a household of one, that could mean an income cap of around $22,900 a year, or for a household of two, around $30,600. If they go with the 130% threshold, those numbers would be a bit lower, but still manageable for a lot of low-income households. What this means for you, now, you might be wondering, how does this affect me? If you're someone who's on a fixed income or a low-income household, this could mean $30 a month toward your internet bill. I know a lot of you were impacted when the ACP ended earlier this year and had to make tough choices about keeping your internet access. This is why it's so important they bring this back and from what I'm hearing, there's a good chance they will. For those who relied on the ACP, this program was a real game changer. It was disappointing when they cut it off, and many of you shared in the comments how hard it was to suddenly lose that support. Hopefully, this new budget will include the necessary funding to revive it, so you can get the help you need to stay connected. As always, I'll keep you updated on any new developments with this legislation, and I'll be watching closely as the budget talks continue. If they move forward with this, it could be a major win for millions of Americans. So stay tuned, and I'll keep you in the loop. Before we go, if you found this information helpful, please remember to like this video and subscribe to Financial Futures for more updates on Social Security, VA benefits and other financial relief programs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and I'll be back soon with more updates on how to navigate these challenging financial times.